<laughs> the story gets so much better, it's not that much. This is going to be the best speech of the night. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, my name is Chris. This is Michael with David, the older brother. Yeah. We're, we're fortunate enough to be the best men tonight. Fortunate enough to be able to stand up here and speak. So, You're so hot. We're going to do our best to uh, honor the name. First and foremost, we'd like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Pipes. My dad's not here. This is, uh, it's, it's beyond words how unbelievable this reception is and how gracious they have been in welcoming our entire family. traveled here from far and away and uh, wish you a safe travels home. So thank you very much for making it. Yeah, it's a great crowd. I would also like to thank New York for not, take, not talking David out of this thing. Because Lord knows they must have been tempted. <laughs> talk to David, he's angry. Anyway, when we joke Dave, we don't worry about what he's going to do. We worry about our mother Mitch. She transforms into this protective bubble that manages to surround Dave and keep him from harm. He truly is the baby of the family. But I'm not going to bore you with stories about why Dave is a mama's boy, because many of us here already know this. But I'd like to share just a few stories about Dave that may help explain, explain the man he has become. I was not yet three years old when he was born, so I don't remember life without him. But what I do remember is that I always loved having him around. He truly uh. was the perfect little brother. For example, he always agreed to playing me in one-on-one -on -one football. Uh. He would hold the football, call hike, and then try and run. No blockers and a very narrow strip of grass. So this ended up being great practice and tackling. Typical I used the eagle. same technique with basketball. But he never cried or quit. Instead, he recruited Chris Maloney, uh, and then it was two-on-one. Some of you may find this hard to believe, but Dave was very skinny and long as a kid. <laughs> he, no he way. He had bleach blonde hair and a mouth that never stopped moving. And Uncle Denny can vouch for this. As the story goes, and it was told last night, yeah, on a ride to the shore, Dave was asking Uncle Denny so many questions that he missed the ride, that he missed the exit for Sea Isle off the Garden State Parkway. The same exit he'd been taking for 40 years. <laughs> Uncle Denny and I actually had promised Dave $20 to not talk for an hour. <laughs> he made it 55 minutes, <laughs> and rather than pay him the money, uh, we told him he had made it before time was up. <laughs> Fortunately, my mom didn't find out about that one, or I would have been in trouble. <laughs> As Dave got older, his, uh, his athleticism really started to shine. Uh, he, Dave really is a phenomenal basketball player, and I always enjoyed going to his game from the time he was in fifth grade through high school. And because of his choice to go to Camden Catholic, he, he brought a lot of pride and enjoyment to my father. In my family, there's a fear of my father. <laughs> wow. Dave is, Dave is the exception. <laughs> my, my mother had granted him certain immunities that still exist to this day. <laughs> For example, uh, my father would always say, that you need to call if you can't get home safely by curfew. What he really meant was, get your, hut, get your butt home on time or else. And the first four children always abided or suffered the consequences without the help from mom. But Dave would manage a call two or three hours after curfew. And he would, he would manage to call two or three hours after curfew and say, you know, I couldn't find a ride, Dad, and then I need you to come get me. <laughs> the rest of us would have sprinted home in the snow or rain before calling him for a ride. But Dave's immunity kept him from repercussion. Fortunately, as he got older, he got a bit stronger. He grew from a strawny, scrawny blonde with big feet into a burly man with a great part. <laughs> <laughs> King Ralph! <laughs> You know, being one of his older brothers, I never thought that Dave would ever be able to embarrass me, or much less physically abuse me. But there have been a couple of times where Dave has proved, proven his worth to me. For example, a few years ago, Dave and I, uh, we had a few 
drinks, uh, and thought it would be fun to box. This was pretty common between us, uh, but this time was different. He got me with a, sh a shot right on the chin, and I fell to the ground. Uh, Weak. And for the past five years, he's managed to boast and bring this up at every family alley. But, you know, the story of his magical punch actually exemplifies his determination and his persis persistence. He suffered through 23 years of beatings and abuse to finally land that shot. <laughs> Can you deliver a best man speech this late day, into the game? Was more commonly known to friends and family this plan would be fucking... Was <laughs> he was clearly... I think it was out of the way one. right away. Growing up, our mom always had David's back, and he walked around the house with a swagger, knowing he could do no wrong. Unlike poor Christopher, who was repeatedly whacked for David's bad habits. <laughs> No matter who was at fault, poor Chris was getting the short end of the stick. When David left high school to attend the Catholic University of America, we all wondered what our little mama's boy was going to do without his number one fan. And although he wandered around campus, aimlessly joining forces with most of the models for J. Crew catalog, <laughs> it was a good thing. Where he found his way. No, when I first met Annie, it was clear that they made the perfect team. Annie is beautiful, bright, and soft spoken. David is none of the above. <laughs> <laughs> And Annie is clearly the captain of this team. <laughs> As you all know, David's not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> and whether it be a new hairstyle, we all love the comb over. <laughs> And he's right there to hold his hand. As my father briefly stole my brother and my story last night and told this to some people, <laughs> I just want to touch upon David's college graduation when we all realized how strong their relationship was. Picture this. A beautiful spring morning on an even more beautiful college campus. There we were, Matt and Phil. Remember? Gathered to witness what we thought was impossible. <laughs> David graduating and graduating in four years. <laughs> it almost happened.
the chosen one. <laughs>